Hello friends, in the present video, we will see how to find at the pressure if your back wheel is inclined and also your back wall is also inclined. Now here we are going to study inclined back wall and back fill that means we have to club these two cases okay let us consider an inclined back wall and let us assume that the slope of the back wall is theta okay and uh, this is nothing but a horizontal line for the back wall back fill let us assume that this is the inclined back fill let us assume that the angle will be equal to beta then how do we have to find out here so here we are having the inclined back wall and also inclined back fill then how do we we'll proceed the same thing suppose if it is like inclined back wall how we'll do it from the toe we will draw an vertical line from the toe draw an vertical line that's it now this is becoming which case now it is like normal case but with an inclined such as beta now how will proceed because of this inclined such as where the pressure will lag the pressure will lag at a height of h by 3 from the bottom so what about that magnitude if this inclined is horizontal it will act in horizontal but here what is happening the pressure here it will act in an inclined way let us assume the magnitude is p1 and it is inclined by an angle beta already we have discussed right and because of this inclined back wall what will have we will have some self weight that is acting truly along the vertical direction and what about our final at the pressure that is acting on the well that may act like this and the direction for this pressure is alpha let us say the magnitude is p so here we have to see what is w what is p1 and also we have to see what is p p is nothing but a the final at the pressure that is acting on the inclined wall so first if you recall it because of this inclined such as how to find out this p1 magnitude that will be equal to half into k into gamma into h square into cos beta okay what is meant by k if you are finding active you have to use ka if you are finding passive you have to use kp can you recall the equations again ka is nothing but a cos beta minus under the root cos square beta minus cos square phi divided by cos beta plus under the root cos square beta minus cos square phi so if it is a kp we will reverse the equation okay this is what about the finding the p1 uh, what about the w that is nothing but a uh, weight of the which let us say let us say this is point a point b and point c and here w is nothing but a weight of which a b c weight of which a b c how we will find out the resultant stress p so in general that will be counted as a under the root fx whole square plus fy whole square what about fx and fy in the present case now if i resolve this p1 uh, let me write down that here suppose if i am having some pressure p1 acting like this what about the component of this p1 if i resolve it along x and if i resolve it along y what are the components if i resolve it along x if this is beta what about the x component p1 cos beta if i resolve it along y what is the component p1 sin beta now see if you resolve this p1 cos beta p1 sin beta 
Now total how many forces are there along vertical W? P1 sin beta along horizontal P1 cos beta. So in this case Fx is nothing but a P1 cos beta and Fy is nothing but a total weight W plus P1 sin beta. If you substitute in this equation that will be your final earth pressure acting on the inclined backfill. Similarly, if you recall how to find out that angle alpha, tan alpha that will be equal to vertical divided by horizontal stress. What is the vertical stress? W plus P1 sin beta divided by P1 cos beta. This angle is with respect to horizontal, remember alpha h. Here also I have shown the angle, sorry. Here also I have shown alpha that is the angle with respect to the horizontal. Please remember this point. And whatever the resultant power, final earth pressure that will also act at a distance of h by 3 from the bottom surface. So this is the final magnitude of the stress. And if I re read it in the terms of equation P, that will be nothing but a under the root P1 cos beta whole square plus W plus P1 sin beta whole square. Where it will act? It will act at a distance of h by 3 from bottom. So this is what about the if there is an inclined back wall and also there is an inclined backfill. Okay. Hope you understood. Thank you.